Hi everyone, my name's Simon. I'm the founder of Sleep Bus. I'm here with a Sleep Bus. This is our Sydney Sleep Bus, uh, sponsored by JB Hi-Fi. I'll just give you a quick tour about how Sleep Bus works. So we have our pods here for our guests. So we can open up all these doors here individually or all at once. Um, but then inside the pods themselves, so everybody gets a memory foam mattress. They get clean sheets, quilts, and pillows every day. They also have underneath the bed here, they also have a toilet so that they can go to the toilet during the night. They have ducted heating and air conditioning throughout all the pods. They also have a little light there, a little reading light up on the wall. Underneath that light is also a USB charger so they can charge their phones if they need to. You'll see these silver brackets on the walls. These brackets mean that we can turn this into a bunk bed if we need to. So if we have a guest um, with a child or we have friends or whatever they might be, it just means we can adapt. With that adaptability, we've also got this area here where we can take out a wall. So we can put this back in if we need to, or take it out if we need to. So if we've got a family, so mum, dad, and a couple of kids, we can accommodate all of those. Um, we've also got a little ladder here for people to get into. So this is how we board our guests. So this just clips into the side, and then guests will just climb up inside their bed. And then they're in their pod. The doors will close at 10 o'clock at night and they'll stay closed until the morning. If a guest wants to leave in the middle of the night, they can just call up on the intercom, let the volunteer know that they want to get out. We can open up their door, let them out. You just can't come and go during the night. You're either on or you're off. That's just for safety of everybody. So you've got everything you need here for a comfy night's sleep. I'll just show you the back of the bus as well. In the back of the bus here, this is where the engine is. So we've got a big pod here. So if somebody might be a little bit claustrophobic or if they got a lot of gear or they've got a large pet, we can put another bed here as well. We've got all this space here, but also pets are welcome as well. So we can accommodate all pets. We don't turn anybody away. We take the fur babies as well and we look after everybody. If we take you up to the front of the cabin here to the caretaker's cabin, this is where the volunteer stays overnight. So they look after all our guests. So. Up in the cabin here, we have our control panel. This controls all the lights, all the switches for the doors. It controls all the environmental controls as well. We also have a screen here. We can swing that around when the caretaker's in bed and they can watch the security cameras on the outside of the bus. We have our intercom. And then for our caretakers, they have a bed here. They have a bunk bed too. So if they bring a partner, bring a family member, they can all share a couple of friends. They also get a little toilet to themselves in there, a bit of privacy as well. They get block out curtains all around the outside of the bus, all these windows get blocked out as well so that they have got their own privacy, but our caretakers are safe inside their pod all night because they can control everything from in here. And that's how a sleep bus works. It comes in at eight o'clock at night. We open doors, we board guests uh, from 8.30 till 10. Then the doors will close at 10. Bus stays here all night. We let people have a quiet night's sleep. Then we give them a wake up call at 7 a.m. and then they leave the area. The bus leaves the area, goes back to its depot, gets reset by our volunteers and ready for the next night's service. So uh, that's Sleep Bus. You can find out more information at sleepbus.org. Thanks so much. Bye for now.